Hi, my name is John Spilker. I'm the Vice President of Packaging. We are here in our packaging assembly shop. It's about 60,000 square foot of assembly. This is where our um, equipment comes together from our fabrication group and our controls group and everything comes in here and it gets assembled into the final product that we ship to our customers. One of the things that I appreciate about working at Pro Energy as an equipment builder is, is the fact that we are vertically integrated. So we own, maintain, and operate the same equipment that we build. So not only do we focus on continuous improvement, but we focus on continuous improvement from an operation and maintenance construction and, and, and startup perspective. Most of the improvements that we've made in our packaging are really about the longevity of the operation and operator convenience. So some of the things that we've done here in our turbine package is we've added extra lights um, to the process. We've extended the door to make it easier for the turbines to get inside of it. And then we've also done routing changes to where we're able to give free space for the operators or maintenance personnel, whether it's taking a turbine out of it for maintenance or putting a turbine back into it. Uh, we left a lot of floor space open so then, so then they don't have to stand and walk on equipment. Here is the MTTB of our turbine package. This is where we do all the control modules. So this is the cabinet that connects back to the PDC and then to the instrumentation inside the package. So that's where all of our control modules will be housed. One of the things that we do in our fabrication shop is the turbine and the generator package are bound together during the fabrication point right here at the, this connection. So what that does is that ensures that from our fabrication all the way through the, the final processes, we have alignment of the turbine and generator package both in left to right as well as elevation. And that's for the ease of alignment between the turbine and generator during the installation and commissioning process. So you can see those there. And so here we are at our generator package, the partner to our turbine package over here. And you can see it has the same matching plates that gets bolted to the turbine package. And as I said before, these two are mated together in fabrication and then they, they stay that way. So right here is where the, the generator would sit um, in the middle of the floor. And we are able to accommodate both the brush and the magenta style generators. So we have the multiple hole pattern in our floor. So we can accommodate a customer specified generators if not using our standard BDX7290 in here. On this back wall over here is where the MGTB would go. And that's the control panel for the generator, very similar to what we talked about in the MTTB on the turbine package. And then in the very back of this is where the GLO system will be. We'll have a tank back there and all the piping that runs through the generator to make sure that it has the appropriate amount of oil to operate correctly. These packages are in the beginning states of the assembly, so these just came over from our heavy fabrication shop. So as you can see, they're pretty empty, getting ready to get pipe and instrumentation and all that stuff loaded into it. Here in a couple weeks, both these packages will be complete and ready to ship. So come and see us sometime for a tour and you'll be able to see our processes. Okay, the last piece of equipment I'm gonna show you on the tour today is our PDC building. It stands for Power Distribution and Controls. So this is where a lot of the equipment that comes from our control panel shop comes over here to assembly and gets installed. So one of the key things that we have with our PDC building is it's laid out and designed to operate two power blocks, so two sets of turbines and generators. And it's divided that way. Over here is one side and over here is the other. So from an operator standpoint, they know that I'm, I'm looking at the controls on the turbine package on this side or I'm looking at the control for the turbine package that's on this side. And they're clearly marked, so this is our turbine control panel. This one's unit number eight, and this one is our turbine control panel, unit number seven. Behind me are the MCCs, or the motor control centers. So these act like the light switches for the power plant. The turbine, the turbine control panel says turn something on, it clicks the switch in here. This goes back to the turbine generator or the auxiliary equipment, and it triggers things on and off. We build all of our primary control panels here in Sedalia as well, so the turbine controls the generator protection, and then the GSU, 
protection. Which we also do supply battery backup, either 24 volt or 125 volt battery backup. That's in case of an outage um, that the system is able to bring itself down safely using battery backup. And of course the associated chargers with that. As we will kind of walk back through here, you can see we have turbine controlled or equipment controlled for one piece on one side and the MCCs are on the other side. We also maintain the main lighting panels in here, not just for the PDC, but also for the site as well. This is where we have the BOP remote IO. So this is how we are able to then take the information that is happening inside of the PDC or controlling the equipment and, and, and allow operations to happen remotely if you, if you happen to have a remote operating center or using Pro Energy's remote operating center to run your assets. So that's how it happens here. It does have a, a human interface control console here. To, to also work with us so you can do maintenance and different types of checks and stuff here off this control panel. And then of course, everything above you is already pre-wired. So this is all pre-wired, readied in conduit. When it gets to site, you literally just do the interconnect between the package and the PDC, a little bit of a plug and play, and you're ready to go. Okay, that concludes uh, my, my portion of the tour today. Um, if you ever wanna come to our Sedalia campus here in Sedalia, Missouri, and take a tour, um, we'd love to have you. You're more than welcome to do that, and thank you for your time.